Now, welcome to the second edition of Standings Bar TV. In this week's episode, we're talking about young leaders, digital leaders, and what the children have been up to and the half term, and much more. Now, let's go find out what the children have been up to. Every lunchtime, year six people take part in young leaders. Children from reception, year one and year two, do a lot of activities and they enjoy it a lot. Let's meet the organiser at our school. This is Mr Colton, a great year five teacher. We're going to be talking a little bit about young leaders. What are young leaders exactly? Well, thank you for the kind introduction to start with. Um, the young leaders are a group of year sixes at Standards Barn who take on the responsibility of leading younger children every lunchtime on the playground. We need lots of responsibility for that. How well do you think young leaders are going? Um, it's going really, really well. Every lunchtime, um, younger children at Stanley's Barn come up to me saying how much they're looking forward to lunchtime because they have an entertaining, fun lunchtime thanks to the young leaders. I hope I was that young. What made you come up with the idea? Um, it isn't my idea, actually. The Young Leader Award is a national award and it's a great introduction for leadership in Year 6. It helps children build up their leadership skills, teamwork skills, communication skills. So it's not actually my idea, it's a, it's a national award. Oh, the children are really enjoying it. Yes, they seem to be, definitely, and I think the young leaders are enjoying being leaders as well. How much time have you spent on young leaders as the organiser? Um, well, the beauty of this is that it doesn't actually take up a lot of my time. Um, the young leaders had training at the start of the year through Miss Lo um, Lawrence um, at the Sports Partnership, um, and she came out to train the young leaders, but after that it's really up to the young leaders to run it, plan it and carry it out and reward the um, Key Stage 1 children in assembly on a Friday and they do that all on their own without any support. How would you improve it if you could? Um, well we're looking at actually buying a lot more resources in. Um, when the weather gets better we'll go on the field and make it even more exciting at lunch times. The field is really big. Um, ha um, thank you for your time Mr Colton. Um, you could stay here, I'm heading back to the studio now. Yesterday, some of our digital leaders went to the University of Northampton. Over to our reporter. Yesterday, our school was lucky enough to go to the University of Northampton and to get to use Makey Makey. We worked with children from other schools and we made controllers for retro games. We made fruits into instruments and after that we showed off our crazy inventions that we made to the other groups that were there. Let's find out a bit more about technology at the University of Northampton. Hello, this is Helen Gordon, who we have been working with today at the university. What do you do at the university? My main job at the university is teaching trainee teachers. So I'm a senior lecturer helping people become teachers. Thank you. Have you got any exciting project going on at the moment? I'm really excited by my digital leader project. So I've got student volunteers being digital leaders at the university and working with students and pupils in schools as well. Okay. Why do you think digital leaders are important? I think they're important because they can show people what really works. So they can, they can test things out, um, have projects with children in schools, and they can show my colleagues that people get really excited about technology. What is your favourite app? Um, I would have to choose app, apps that go well together. I like the idea of app smashing, so I like apps that fit together. I like iMovie, and um, in Ivy, iMovie we might do something with Morpho, we might do something with animation, we might do something with green screening. Okay. Do you have any plans for the future in technology? I've got a big bid in right now for a project that involves three years of technology with our universities and schools in Europe, so I'm quite excited about that. And we would look at technology outdoors, we would look at STEM to STEAM, which is science, science, technology, engineering, arts and maths all together, using technology and also technology for language learning over three years. That would be a big project. Thank you, Thank you for your time. This is Susan Turvey and we have been working with her at the university. She is a digital leader also. What, are you, what do you do at the university? Okay, so I'm a third year BA primary ed student. I'm in my final year of teacher training. 
have you got any exciting projects going on at the moment? Um, the school I'm out on placement at, um, I have a stock frame animation club that I run and uh, we've also done a bit of green screening and we're hoping to link up with the school in Germany. Why do you think digital leaders are really important? I think digital leaders are really important because we, um, we can be there to help and engage other people um, to get excited about all the new technology that's, that's coming in thick and fast. What's your favourite app so far? Um, my favourite app, I'd say, I quite like the stop frame animation app, um, I can animate, um, it's very easy to use, and I also like um, green screening, and um, I quite like linking that up and so you can make and create bigger movies with iMovie. We've got digital readers at our school, what would you recommend for them? Oh, um, well I think, um, like the exciting project you've done this afternoon, Makey Makey, um, you could do lots of things recommended with them. Um, you could also, it's quite nice to share stories, and so you could um, create and make um, stories and show and, and do puppets through animation through that. So that, that would be something I'd recommend. Thank you for joining us. Back to the studio. We have just got back from half term. Let's see what the children were up to. Over the half term, I went to London and where I was there, I went to management source and it was awesome. During half term, we went out for dinner at the Tide Recovery and my nan came down all the way from Skegness. It was brilliant. I I went skating with my mum, my dad, me and my brother. We went skating on our scooters. I went roller skating with my mum and dad. It was brilliant. During the half term, I I went to my nanny's and granddad's for, for dinner and I had lots of fun. It was great. During the half term, I went to Centre Park for a whole week now and I really enjoyed it. I got to go from an annual pony. In the holiday, I went to London and to, to go to my, my mum's old boss's holiday. I really enjoyed it and we got to see, we got to see the great view. On Thursday, I went football and we won against Derby County. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another great episode. Bye!